So if you're familiar with the other road, there's some stuff you have to adapt. So this first part, we just kill the zombie normally, as usual. One, three, Scramas X. And here on this boss, we used to use the, the urn, but this time we just press B and unequip the scrum attacks to cancel the swing of the sword, but you don't use the urn yet. Then you go on. So you kill those two zombies and grab two urn pieces, just two, and get rid of this boss. Don't mix here. the monk get your sword dead skip is independent of this trick you can either do it or not it doesn't matter for arm skip and here what we do we burn this thing immediately then you burn the zombie then pause sword and use the blue urn because that's because we have to break this at some point to get this and this is a good moment to do it because we are waiting for the carpet to burn. And the only reason why you want to kill the zombie here is because you have time for that and it's going to be on your way back. And it's better to kill it with the torch because the, the sword can get stuck. So right after that, just take the door. And there is a couple of options here. So what we got to do here is we got to reach this door. That means we have to go past this zombie. There's multiple ways to do that. There's kind of an optimal way to do it, but there's some backups around it. Let's go for the slow strat first. So the slow strat is you wait around the corner until the zombie arrives and until it attacks. So from there, you should have enough space here to go around the zombie. That's the slow strat. And then the next step is positioning yourself here close to the door, aim for the zombie. The aiming is not necessary, but it's useful to, to get, have a good position. And then you want to receive a hit from the zombie. And we're gonna cover the, the rest after the, the fast strat. So that's the slow strat to get to the door. That's the first step you wanna do, getting to the door. Now the fast strat. All right, so you gotta run a little bit past the corner here, decoy the zombie to walk near this wall, and then before the zombie attacks you, you want to go to the other wall, so you start attacking in a different direction. And from there, you want to do an attack on the zombie, you want to cut the left arm, and that's going to move the zombie away. And if you do it wrong, you're going to get stuck here. Okay, if you get stuck here, it's not over yet, there's a backup, just press start and watch a cutscene. It has to be an in-game cutscene. So you lose 8 seconds from this, but you still save time from not doing arm skip. And I would put the zombie behind you, and then you can run to the door. So let's see if we can do it successfully. All right, there you go. Go to this part. That's to move the zombie closer to this wall. Then you move a little bit here before the attack. So the zombie looks the opposite direction. And then you attack the left arm. And because of the angle of the zombie, the zombie is going to move even closer to the other wall. And then you have enough space. And that's a lot faster than this low strat, by the way. Last time, I think it was like four seconds or three. But the other one is way safer if you want. And it's faster than failing this one, of course, and watching a cutscene, but it's all preference at the, at the end. So the next step here is getting hit by the zombie. We need to get hit. As soon as you get hit, you press start and you mix this. You spam B to open the door. Here, press start again, you actually have control here a little bit 
because of that animation. So you activate start, and we're going to create a town item. You assign there somewhere, your favorite place. And then you do the scroll trick. We have to cast this thing, so LR, and cast the thing in the two edged sword. And then here, you get rid of the message immediately, and we have to walk up to this part. So the camera won't change, but this walk is fairly easy. You really just have to like keep going forward and a little bit to the side. It's, it's not a tricky camera. Like what, what you can do is you can go forward until you see Anthony here and then react and go around the table. So here, you want to get close to this guy. There's no reason to attack this guy. You might see me attacking on runs. That's just swag. You don't have to do it. So you wait behind this guy. Just run towards him. And as soon as you see the door, when it's already closed, you want to run towards the door. Not before this moment, because otherwise you might clip outside of it. And that's bad. You don't want to clip outside of the door. So you wait until around this moment and you start running towards the door. Okay, so I'm actually running backwards there. And there's two reasons for that. One is you can buffer down for this message right here that is going to happen. But the important reason is because after this, you get rid of the pause. Here, we gotta go forward in order to hit the loading zone, right? So there's the loading zone, just hold forward. But if you, don't, if you don't position yourself close enough to the door, it won't work. Because you are farther away from the loading zone. Like right now, I'm holding forward. Maybe we can even take a look at that. The loading zone, I think, is around here. There's an invisible wall here. And so you gotta go backwards and then for the loading zone. Because the thing only works on one direction. So that's why after this moment I usually run backwards and then I go forward. And that's earn skip. It saves a ton of time from doing the earns. I don't remember exactly how much, but it's a lot.